everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome, my name is Christine. So today, I'm gonna talk to you guys about my hair. I recently just got it cut. I don't know if you can tell now, but if you watch my last few videos, you can see that I went from really, really long hair to super short hair. So kind of vlogged it in my Seattle vlog, so be sure to check that out if you haven't already. So today, I'm gonna be talking to you guys about my tips for maintaining healthy hair, some of my favorite products and vitamins and supplements. So. If you guys are interested in seeing how I keep my hair healthy and some of my favorite products and tips, first make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and the little notification bell so you don't miss on any of my newest videos. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with the video. Also, I know I have this little friend here and Robert just wanted to be the center of attention, but let's not give him that satisfaction. Disregard, okay, thank you so much. My shirt that I have is actually from Mango. I just uploaded a Mango haul and try on video, so make sure you check out that video because I got so many great things including this top and kind of styled it for you guys as well. For this video, I partnered up with Aquas to show you some tips on how I keep my hair healthy. So my number one tip is to avoid water damage. Not a lot of people talk about protecting your hair against water damage. Wet hair is weak hair and when your hair is wet, it is actually 56% weaker than when it is dry. Before I go into the shower, I will go in with this Aquas Water Defense Pre-Wash Spray. I really like the spray because I feel like it does a really good job of protecting my hair against water damage. So before my showers, I will go in with this pre-wash spray and because I have an oily scalp, I'll avoid that area and I'll mainly spray this throughout the ends of my hair and throughout my hair and I'll kind of comb it through with my fingers as well. Let it sit for five to 10 minutes before taking my showers. This pre-wash spray is so great because it reduces hair swelling by 46% and it minimizes the effects of water damage. This helps to prevent against breakage, tangles, and frizz. This spray I will use before every single shower. It just is such a quick thing to do and incorporate into your routine. I feel like it does a really great job of protecting my hair. After I get out of the shower, my hair feels stronger and healthier. It also dries a little bit quicker and when it does dry too, I find that my hair is less frizzy as well. As you can see, I'm already halfway through this bottle and I have a backup ready for when I run out of this. This is just an easy step to incorporate into your routine and it helps to protect against water damage. So when your hair is wet, it is more vulnerable to damage. So I expose my hair to water for the shortest amount of time possible. So most people, when they go in the shower, the first thing that they do is to wet their hair. I wait until the end of my shower and then wet my hair at the very end so that way I'm exposing my hair to the water for the shortest amount of time possible. So this pre-wash spray helps to protect your hair against water damage but when you're showering you want to make sure that you rinse everything out. So my favorite thing to go in with is this Aquas Rebalancing Hair Wash. This is a really great gentle hair wash. This doesn't lather but I actually find that it still does a good job of clearing my scalp and getting rid of all that residue and it leaves my hair so fresh. I would just use a nickel sized amount of this, put it throughout my scalp and rub it in and make sure that I rinse it thoroughly out of my hair. And then I will actually skip the conditioner. Once I exit the shower, I'll actually put it up in a hair towel and Aquas makes a really great hair towel and it's kind of like a little turban thing and kind of leave it sitting in the hair towel for about 10 to 15 minutes and it actually does a great job of soaking up the water and kind of air drying out my hair. So after having my hair in that towel for about 15 minutes, I will actually take it down and and spray in this restorative leave-in conditioner by Aquas. I really love the spray because I find that it just does a great job of conditioning my hair. It leaves my hair super, super soft and it also protects my hair against heat as well. So if I feel like going in with blow drying or styling my hair, this actually protects my hair. So that brings us to tip number two. My second tip is to avoid heat styling as much as possible, but if you are to use heat styling products, make sure that you protect your hair against that heat damage. Like I said before, this leave-in conditioner is really great because it helps protect your hair against the heat damage. But other two products that I really like, this one by It's a 10 is really great. This is their Miracle Leave-In Plus Keratin Spray. How I typically use these little sprays is after I kind of towel dry my hair, I will go in with one of these leave-in conditioner sprays, spray it throughout the middle and ends of my hair and make sure I kind of comb through it and that way it just leaves my hair super soft frizz free and it also protects against heat damage as well another product that I really like is this Orbe super shine moisturizing cream 
This one is really great, but it is a little bit more pricier, so I actually reserved this for special occasions, but I love the way the All Orbe products smell. It does a good job of leaving my hair so shiny and smooth and also protects my hair against heat damage. You just want to make sure that when you are using heat styling products, whether it's blow drying, straightening, or curling, you just want to make sure that you're protecting your hair. My favorite heat styling products at the moment is this hair dryer from T3. Their blow dryer, I really, really love. I love how compact it is. I feel like it does a really great job of drying my hair really fast. If if I want to go in with a curling iron, I also really like T3's curling wand and I won't leave my hair in the wand for too long because I just don't want to fry my hair. So I just leave it enough just to curl it. Tip number three that I have kind of goes back to using as little heat styling as possible. I rely more on like hair products than I do heat products such as like blow dry and curling wand. Most of the time I'll let my hair air dry. I would say six out of seven days of the week I will just use products and have my hair natural. One one of the products that I have been loving lately is this Playa Endless Summer Spray. I have been loving this because I feel like it gives me such gorgeous beachy curls. Even when I go in with a curling wand, I'll kind of spray this throughout my hair as well and it just adds a little bit more texture and gives you that like kind of gritty, I've been at the beach all day type look. I really, really like the spray even if I just have natural hair. I will actually spray this throughout my hair and kind of zhuzh it a little bit and it gives my hair like these soft waves. And it's just really, really pretty, low maintenance style, but also it just looks like you put a little bit more effort into your hair. Another product that I really like is this one from Orbe. It is their dry texturizing spray. Oh my gosh, my hairstylist, Joe Bay, put me onto this and I love it. I feel like this is worth the money it smells. Not only does it smell incredible and the packaging is gorgeous, it also does a really great job of just giving my hair such gorgeous texture. This one to me is more of a like sea salt spray. This one is different than sea salt sprays because it just is like dry texture, especially when I know I'm going to an event or I'm going out and I want my hair to look extra put together and I want it to stay for a really long time. I will go in with this Orbe spray. Another thing that I love is this Playa Soft Volume powder whenever I feel like my hair is lacking a little bit of volume I will either go in with dry shampoo or soft volume powder this one is just really great and easy to travel with because it comes in a little dispenser like this where it just has little holes at the top and you can kind of like unlock it and then close it up and I just put a little bit in the roots of my hair just like that and then I kind of just zhuzh it and it gives my hair so much volume and it's similar to like a dry shampoo but I like that it's in a powder form because it makes it so easy to travel with and you can kind of just like put it in your travel bag like see how much more volume that gave me so I will kind of like I'll kind of section off my hair and put some of the soft volume powder here section it again put some more and then kind of just judge it and it gives my hair so much volume so I have been really loving this soft volume powder from Playa. I feel like it is so low maintenance. It also kind of soaks up the oils in my scalp as well, which is an extra bonus. A dry shampoo that I really like is this one from Living Proof. This is their Perfect Hair Day dry shampoo. This has got to be one of my favorite dry shampoos ever. It is so good and I feel like it actually does a good job of soaking up the hair oils. Whenever I have really really greasy hair, I will just spray dry shampoo in my hair and then do the rest of my makeup. When I'm done with my makeup, go through and judge up my hair. It just blends out nicely. It doesn't leave a white cast and smells incredible and also does a really good job of absorbing a lot of the oils in my hair. And then finally, my favorite hair oil at the moment is this one from Way. This is their hair oil. If you guys have not smelled this yet, you need to go into Sephora and just smell it because it smells like luxury. It smells like you got some extra monies to spend. It smells like you shop at Neiman Marcus all the time. My hair is short right now, so I really do not need that much. So I'll just do like a half pump just like that and kind of rub it between my hands and then go throughout my hair, especially focusing on the ends of my hair. And it just absorbs into my hair so quickly it smells incredible and makes my hair look so shiny and healthy so those are my favorite products my next tip that i have for maintaining healthy hair is to take biotin or collagen i actually take a mixture of both i'm currently using this halo beauty hair and skin and nails booster this is actually from tati glam life guru if you guys watch her on youtube but this is her brand and i have been taking it for the last like month you can see i'm almost out of it but I have been loving this. I feel like it has been helping my hair get super thick and healthy. Like the other day I put my hair up in a ponytail and I was like surprised by how thick it felt. So I feel like that is actually making a difference in how thick my hair feels. My nails are also really weak and I feel like that has done a really great job of strengthening out my nails. So this one actually contains biotin 
and collagen so this is really great for helping to promote like hair health and nail growth i also take a protein powder that contains collagen and biotin this one by amazing grass is really great because it contains 15 grams of protein and it also contains biotin i don't think this one contains collagen but it helps to promote collagen synthesis and this is really great because i will just make my normal protein smoothie after the gym or for like a breakfast or a lunch i'll just put one scoop of this and it has the added benefits of promoting like healthy hair skin and nails so i've been loving this protein powder another one that i've really been liking is this one from vital proteins this one actually contains collagen peptides so this is really great for hair skin and nails as well this one also contains 18 grams of protein so it is a protein powder i think these protein powders are so great because you just don't really have to think about it especially if you already make protein powders it's really great to buy something that contains your collagen or biotin it just kills like two birds with one stone anyways that is all the tips that I have for maintaining healthy hair I also wanted to thank Aquas for partnering up with me for this video I hope you guys found these tips helpful and I will go ahead and link all the products down in the description box before you go make sure you hit the thumbs up button let me know down in the comments what you'd like to see next and I also have a couple videos here so make sure you check some of those out before you go and as always thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next video bye